Explore the possibilities with SchoolhouseTeachers.com, a high-quality resource for homeschooling families. Use our code to pay only $179 for two years, plus receive a free tote. Good morning. It's Monday, August 16th. Let us know you're enjoying Top Story by hitting the like button and subscribing. On today's full World Watch show, Nicaragua squashes freedom of the press, holding hostage the supplies of the nation's only independent newspaper. And the wheels on the bus go round and round in India, but it's not going to school, it is school. Now, this is Top Story. Taliban fighters are on the verge of total control of Afghanistan after entering its capital city from all sides yesterday. Helicopters rescuing diplomats, ferrying them to the airport in Kabul. Taliban fighters lounging in Afghan presidential palace, reportedly planning to declare the nation the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan, its name under Taliban rule before U.S. forces defeated the extreme Islamist following the terrorist attacks of September. September 11th, 2001. Yesterday, Ashraf Ghani was at the head of the line of those fleeing the country. Foreign nationals, as well as Afghan citizens, filled terminals desperately hoping for a flight out. U.S. President Joe Biden has committed 5,000 troops to help evacuate Americans and Afghans who have assisted the U.S. But the Taliban overran the country even faster than expected, leaving the U.S. government to tell those stuck in Afghanistan to shelter in place and await rescue. Many fear the Taliban will once again impose a brutal Islamic government. President Biden said last week that despite the stunning rise of the Taliban, he doesn't regret read his decision to withdraw American troops from Afghanistan. Biden pointed out that Washington has poured more than $1 trillion into the country over the last two decades and has lost thousands of soldiers. And it's time for the Afghan government to stand on its own. Make sure to check out the full site at worldwatch.news. You can try out the show free for a month. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.